Today I have the brand new, just released, Next Torch Pioneer Professional Multi-Tool. It's got 14 tools on it. This does things different. I wonder if this will shake up the multi-tool community, the multi-tool world in design, because this thing is nice. Really, really nice. Let's go ahead, jump into some of its features, talk about what this offers. Now, first of all, Maybe we should start out with one of the huge new things is that instead of the plier head being the main thing, what we have is this huge pair of shears. Now, before we jump too much further into this tool, I want to get a couple things out of the way. Let's talk about weight. That is one of the beauties of this tool because it comes in only 268 grams, or for those of us in America, 9.4 ounces. Now, keep in mind that the Leatherman Surge, this is just a little bit smaller than the Surge, almost the same size and length. The Leatherman Surge is 12 ounces, so this is considerably lighter. And not only do we have this huge set of shears, but we do have a set of pliers. This really offers some very unique capabilities. Also, it does have this blackening and stone finish, which I really, really like. Now, the main material is 20CR13, 30CR13, YG8 is what it says. This finishing right here, we have the roller right there as well. I, I really like this finishing. Again, it reminds me of some of Nextool's... Um, Stone wash finishing there on their tools as well. I really think it looks nice. Keep in mind that we do have this pocket clip and then it is screwed on here to the top like so. I think that's a unique design as well. I just really like the shape of this tool. Now, what this reminds me of is almost a modern take on old tools. So we have tools like the Leatherman Super Tool. They were a lot square, more boxier. The surge kit comes out, it's more rounded, it's streamlined. So what it looks like Next Torch has done is taken an old design, pretty much breathed new fresh air into it, made it unique. I really, really like this. This does come in a little pricey. I think I spent $70, $80 for it. Now it's up to $96 on AliExpress. I would imagine the price will come down over time, but it is a little bit pricier. But keep in mind, this is a brand new design. I don't think there's anything like this on the market. And I'll show you more now. All right. So we have the scissors. I'll probably test this out more at the end of the video. We've got the scissors. I want to look over some of these other tools. Spring-loaded shears, pretty cool right there. We do have the spring-loaded pliers as well with replaceable wire cutters. That's cool. Nothing in the handle right here, but we do have that. Again, the shears are spring-loaded. Keep in mind, this is my Leatherman Raptor clone. Keep in mind, these are a little bit smaller than your Leatherman Raptor would be, but not, not significantly smaller. So a little bit smaller, but they still have a fair amount of cutting space on them, which I think is really good for fitting into essentially a four and a half inch frame tool. Pretty good there. All right, we've talked about the pocket clip. Let's go ahead, jump in, and talk about this. So on this side, we have the oxygen wrench. Also, we do have this, which I think is, you can scan that for further instructions. That's pretty cool as well. So we have this O2 oxygen wrench on the side. Then take a look at this. That is cool. This is a zip tie cutter, or they say plastic handcuff cutter, but essentially a zip tie cutter. Pretty cool right there. You can lock that in place. We'll go ahead, test that out a little bit later as well. I just wanna go over some of these tools to start with. Then we do have a locking knife. Now this is not extremely long, but that may be helpful actually, again, in some countries with more extreme knife laws. But I do realize that some of you say that depending on which country you live in, you have vastly different laws. So whichever country you're in, Hopefully that helps having a little bit smaller blade. We do have the locking saw blade as well. 
Again, I really like the finishing on all these tools. Now on this side right here, we have a couple extra tools. Now how this works is we do have this strap cutter, which we already have the zip tie or the handcuff cutter, but we do have the strap cutter. I guess this is more like your emergency seatbelt cutter right there. This one I don't think locks into place. Then we have what they call a replaceable screwdriver, which I don't understand why they call it replaceable, but that's what they do. Now with this one, if we put this tool like so, this snaps into place and we actually have like a locking screwdriver right there. That's unique. Then it does take a little bit getting used to to get this to release, there we go. Then it seems to have a system almost like Leatherman's older tools where you have to bring another tool out to lock it. I, I sort of like that. I like that the screwdriver locks into place. It is fairly easy to get to with this tab right here. This is fairly easy to get to with that tab. Very nicely done, a lot nicer done than some other tools where you've had to really hunt into the tool and get it. See, this is what Leatherman should have done with the mutt. This would have been, or not the mutt, the uh, the OHT, the one hand opening tool. Leatherman should have made something more like this. I think that would have been a lot better. Really, really cool. All right, so I want to make sure I've gone over all these things. We've got the plastic handcuffs cutter. We've got the back clip, the rescue shears, the roller, the strap cutter, replaceable slide screwdriver pliers, needle nose pliers, premium wire cutters, hard wire cutters, the knife, the saw, the wrench, the bottle opener as well. Now I don't have any professional plastic cuffs, but I do have some good old fashioned zip ties. This works really well. Wow. Pretty cool. That is, that is really neat. So I wasn't sure if it would actually work good, but yeah, it just, it just destroys these zip ties. I don't know if I should do this. Let's put two of these together, thickness. Yeah, wow, it just snaps right through. So this definitely works. I mean, even if you put both these together, that just snaps right through. Now, I don't wanna ruin this new toy that I just got, but for the sake of the channel and you viewers, I did want to go ahead put it through a couple paces that I saw on the video, cut some clothes like they were talking about. It just slices right through. Very, very impressed. Even through the heavy cuff at the bottom. Yeah, it slices right through. Pretty impressive right there. All right, now I do have, I have some brand new shoelaces. I actually just got brand new work bo boots rather. I'll go ahead and sacrifice these. Obviously, it just snaps right through there. No problem at all. I want to, again, all right, so right through, this is some strapping right there. Cuts right through that as well. Let's try, again, this rubber inner tube. Cuts right through that as well. Then I did, now they did not show extremely heavy duty metal. This is thinner gauge metal, but it's a lot thicker than pop can. It does cut right through that as well. Pretty impressed, I have to say. That, that's pretty impressive. Now, some of these I feel like fail when it comes to thin, small things, but this even cuts paper, wow. Really, really good. Does a great job. Again, I want to do another test on the scissors just with fine plastic because that's where a lot of these scissors fail. But look at that. So it can slice right through metal, paper, jean cloth, all kinds of things. Very, very impressive. Because again, I, I one time was reviewing a whole bunch of multi-tool heavier duty scissors. Some of them actually did a lot better with metal than with some of the fine things like paper or plastic. They actually did a lot better. I have to say, I am very impressed with this tool. Now, I think 
Essentially, the only tools that come close are the Leatherman Raptor style tools with the clones and so forth. Now, SOG makes the pair of shears, but again, they are not plier based. Now, some of you may say, well, what about this professional, the Paul, Ch Paul Chen? What, what about those tools? These are, I feel like, very inferior. Again, they were never meant to be extremely high end. They have plastic right here. And when you exert too much material on my test, actually, when I tested these, I think a year or two ago, the the uh, attachments, these screws actually popped out due to the stress. So the shears are great for heavier duty stuff. But again, these had a hard time cutting through, I think, some, some thinner stuff just because of the the scissor alignment. These are out of stock now. You can only buy them on eBay. The pliers are not very good. They've got, they're let down by their internal tools. This is so much better. Again, this is all metal. So, so much better. This is a very cool tool. Definitely recommend it. I was afraid that the shears would let the tool down, that the strap cutter, again, over here would let the tool down. I'm actually very impressed. We'll have to do a couple more reviews in the upcoming days, but I really think this is a fantastic design.